All right, so now we've got our top section, search, an about section, and we've got these numbered circles um, that just add a little bit more content to the home page, a little bit more movement, just some things going on. So if we go back to our main site here that we're copying from, the next section is going to be this featured vehicles. Then we've got a call to action bar, essentially, testimonials, and then a map. So we're going to jump on the Featured vehicle section here. I'm going to go ahead and open up my page builder in my original site so you can see how that was put together. And when I scroll down, you'll see I've got two things going on. I've got a heading, and then I've got the actual row with the vehicles in it. And this is just a, a short code. So I'm actually going to pull it out of the the text section here. It wouldn't really matter. It's the same code. And it's inventory underscore slider cell class equals used. You can add more filters than this, more parameters from our settings in the back end of our Car Dealer Press plugin. There's a section called short codes with the different short codes and parameters there. And there's other videos on that. So I'm not going to get into that too much. So I've already copied that. Now I'm going to go over to our new site, the one we're copying to. We'll open up the page builder here. And then we're just going to add a single column row underneath. And then we want to go ahead and make this full width as well. And let's go ahead and try full width on the content and see how that looks. So we'll save that. Now we need to add content. We're just going to add a text editor in there. Go to the text section and paste our short code. And we'll go ahead and save that. And what tends to happen with this, it'll show up like this in a vertical format to begin with. And then as soon as we publish it, the page will refresh and we'll have our slider. Okay. And it looks like I've got just as many cars in, in my demo inventory here that we have on the home page. So it's really just not sliding. But as soon as you have one more car, it'll start to shift across if you have enough. So then we want to add our header. We'll open up the page builder again. Basic modules. We'll put a heading. Drag that down over here, just above inside here. And we'll just call this vehicles okay and let's go ahead and get that to the center and we'll save that okay we'll leave that like that for right now and now let's go ahead and do this call to action row so same kind of concept here now the row it had two columns in that one so we're going to go ahead and put a new one down here once again, we're going to change this to full width. The content in this case, we want it tight to the center, so I'm not going to worry about bringing that in. Definitely want to change the background color, though, and we're going to go to a, a pretty close to a black, if not a black here. And then we'll go ahead and save that. And there is a call to action piece in the advanced, mo advanced modules here didn't like how that came out in this case. So what I ended up doing was creating a button and some text is all. So I'm gonna, we'll, we'll edit that in just a second. Oops, I guess we have to do this. So we're just gonna put value trade. Obviously we gotta have a page that's value trade or search right now. I don't know what I've got. So I'm just gonna do value trade so it goes somewhere and then we can always create a page in this spot also down the road. So we'll save that. And then I'm going to add the text here. And let's go ahead and just copy that out of this one. And we'll copy from there. So I've got the styling. You can see I, I styled the top section a little bigger than the bottom section. So it's kind of nice to be able to just cheat and do that real quick. Okay, and then the next thing we can do is we could move these around a little bit. Looks like we've got to we'll give it a new link. 
Let's change the style a little bit. I don't need to mess with the color too much. Let's take the set, let's align that center and see how that looks because it was a little close before. And then the padding, we definitely want to add a little bit of, uh, at least our top margin probably is more accurate in this case because we want it to center, center vertically a little better. You can see how it's kind of off there. So we just kind of move that up a little bit. And I'm guessing right about there. Well, let's save it and see what happens. That's perfect. And then yeah, I won't, I won't, I'm going to leave that like that. You can definitely keep tweaking and playing and, and getting that the way you want. You could even go full width on that, go capitalize the, the letters, make them bigger, make it stand out, change the colors. So I'm going to leave that for now. And then the next thing we'll do is the tr testimonial section. Again, another parallaxing section. Right, so we're going to add a row. Yeah, that is a two column. Change the background to full width again. Content does not need to be full width, I don't believe. We can mess with that if we need to. And then we're going to go parallax. We'll select a photo. I just have this one going down the road here. Let's use this one. Okay, one of the things I've learned recently too, and I've been kind of doing it, I don't know about wrong, but different. So we can change the padding here. That'll eliminate the need for adding padding or margin on the individual elements within too. So it's a little cleaner. And you can use that on these top ones too. Remember I put margins on the top of each of these. If you add padding to the overall row, It'll accomplish the same thing from one spot. Just again, a little simpler, a little cleaner. So in this one, we're going to put a testimonials widget in, which is under the advanced modules, if I remember correctly. Yep. And we'll just drop that in over here. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit from this one. And the testimonials, I've just got a couple in here. So we'll edit, and the way that the testimonial widget works is uh, it's just a text editor essentially, and you can add your own photo. And you can see I actually created that photo as a, a circle or the view of a circle. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in my new one. So it, you can come up with whatever style you want. Um, just make sure you know how to edit that photo in the way you need to. So we're going to edit over here, we'll paste, save, we've got that one, let's get the second one, again from the text, we'll add another testimonial, add that, text and paste, okay, we'll save those, and then the other, I want to change the text colors and the background a little bit. That background's a little bright, so even if I go to a white text, definitely would be better. Let's change it. So you can still see it, but one of the things I think we want to do on this one is we actually want to change the background and put an overlay on that photo. And you can do that by just going in here. We can make it black. And then the opacity is going to change that. So if I go 10% versus 50%, you can see how it gets a little darker in there. It's a great feature, so you don't have to pull the image down and, and mess with the image at all. So that'll save you some time. So I kind of like how that looks. And we'll drop that in. So now what we want to do is just put a heading over the top of that. So we'll take heading and make sure we're inside the right box. And just put... What our customers are saying. Okay. And then we could adjust that if we wanted to as well. So we're going to save. Okay. So what our customers are saying, done, testimonials. And then the next one is map. So let's go ahead and add a map at the very bottom. We're going to once again add a single row. We're going to go full width. And this time I do want the content to go full width. Let's save that, add content. 
that's going to be in the advanced modules I believe yep so we're going to pull over the map and then we'll just put in an address okay and then you can adjust the map around to show your location as well as you want and then just put another heading on top of that for map and hours and when we publish we've got a, a full-blown car dealer site that we've built in really if you think about it just a matter of minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and st um, stop this tutorial here and then do some other ones in the future on how to utilize the, the the global row settings and things like that so you can reuse these kind of things in different spots throughout your site and only edit them in one spot so a lot of really cool features with beaver builder um, especially when you're using it with car dealer press as a car dealer website so uh, keep an eye out for more videos and tutorials and enjoy have a great day thanks